So we have a velvet store and a pastel store. Okay, the velvet store sells the bag at $936, which is 17% more than the price of a similar bag sold in a pastel store. So 117% will be 936. We need to find 100%, which is the price sold in pastel store. So first we will find our 1%, dividing 936 by 117, we will have $8. Next we need to find 100%, which will give us 800. So the pesto store sells the bag at $800, which is our answer for part A. Part A asks for the price of the bag before discount in the pesto store. Okay, now moving on to part B, they ask what is the percentage discount given during the sale, knowing that she paid $102 less than the discounted price in the velvet store. Okay, so if you consider, if both stores have a 1% discount, the velvet store will be selling the bag at 926.64. The pesto store will be selling the bag at 792. Okay. If both stores have a discount of 2%, the velvet store will be selling the bag at 917.28, while the pesto store will be selling it at 784. Now the difference between these two prices, we can find it to be $136 if there is no discount. If there is 1% discount, the difference is going to be 134.64. If there is 2% discount, the difference in price will be 133.28. Now we observe that there is a constant difference between these two values, which is $1.36 there is also a difference of $1.36 here. So this pattern will continue until a certain percentage when the difference in the two prices will be $102. Okay? So first we need to find what's the total difference between $136 and $102. That will give us $34. Since every interval is $1.33, we can divide 34 by $1.33 and 36 cents sorry, to get 25. So that means there are 25 intervals and therefore this will be 25% when the difference between the prices is $102. Hence the answer for part B, the percentage discount given during the sale will be 25%. This is our answer.